अवलोकयते स्म and some emotion brings in a peace so they now we as a social animal you see we need friend the friendship entirely uh, depend on trust trust come if you show them affection sincerely uh, sense of concern of their well being then trust come trust cannot buy uh, or trust cannot develop by force so warm heartedness really the foundation of trust without trust you cannot develop genuine friendship genuine friend friendship we are social animal we need friends friendship is very important so in our today's world that part is lacking why existing education system is something lacking education system materialistic education mit education modern education oriented about material value so we can say existing education is very much materialistic oriented right now so people who come through that kind of education eventually create their whole life more materialistic life uh, with that materialistic culture so whole society come from that they don't know how to tackle our destructive emotion about to come so the destructive emotion have complete freedom there's no way to check so complete freedom so the destructive emotion uh, uh i think now today's world a lot of our, our own created problem actually because of destructive emotion so then uh i realize my first visit to europe i uh, used the word uh, sense of global responsibility that's altruism take care about others well-being world become smaller and the future of world heavily interdependent so according that reality uh it is old way of thinking just my nation my nation my nation my country but we should think a uh, sense of global responsibility that i think uh firstly is a nuclear weapon uh i think cause of that the reduce and then finally eliminate then eventually all weapons firstly <coughs> offensive weapon should eliminate and then gradually whole world demilitarize then eventually the political boundary i think also source of problem isn't it you see uh new indian now should pay more attention about ancient indian knowledge india is the only nation who have the ability and opportunity to combine modern technology modern knowledge modern education modernity plus ancient indian knowledge how to bring in a peace combine this is a physical comfort as well as mental comfort so that's i think out of about 200 nations i think only india can do that no other country last 30 years i have serious discussion with modern scientists many of them non believer when i when i discuss when we discuss we also learned very useful information about uh, material things or the uh, galaxies these things very useful information 
But as far as so the subtle level of reality, uh, they are very superficial. And then particularly uh, consciousness. I often use it telling Western psychology compare ancient Indian psychology, then Western psychology, modern psychology looks like kindergarten level. <laughs> the Indian psychology, ancient Indian psychology, highly developed. Then modern Indian psychology may be kindergarten. <laughs> 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 so, so you must pay more attention for revival of ancient Indian knowledge. Okay.